back in another episode, guys. It's December 18th. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, minus 9 degrees Celsius, and we're going ice fishing. Uh, it'll be the first time I've been out this year. We're hitting Erie Lake today. Got a few hours of burn. Got a Christmas party to go to tonight, so didn't want to venture too far from home. Um, it's puking down snow, as you can see. I'm the only one here so far at this end of the lake. I'm at the west end today. Let's see if we can put a few fish topside. All right, boys, we made it on the ice. We're at Erie Lake, as I mentioned earlier. The ice isn't as thick as I thought it was. I've been spud barring my way out. I'm literally only 60 feet offshore. Um, in some areas, the spud bar goes through one whack, and then others, you know, take four or five. So it looks like there's about, I don't know, five inches of ice, but not great ice in some spots. And then any place that's over top of like a lily pads or near bushes like that, not safe so um, use caution if you do come out I highly recommend buying a spud bar if you don't know what a spud bar is that's a spud bar super heavy probably weighs about 15 pounds 10 pounds and then you just kind of like keep stabbing the ice if it's one hit and you go through stay off you know I like four or five wax before I bust through to, to make me feel comfortable. So anyway, we're gonna go over here and uh, see if there's any fish in that hole. I don't feel too comfortable by myself venturing too far out. I'd like to hit over there somewhere, but uh, we'll see. We'll start here, see if there's any fish, and then move on if we need to. All right, here we go, boys. First drop of the 2021-2022 uh, ice fishing season. Just gonna use a little tiny fire tiger tungsten a green Berkeley gulp maggot. Let's see if there's anything down here. Water's only about five feet. Go check my drag. Drag's not bad. Up the sensitivity a bit. There we go. Fish coming up. Off camera, of course. First fish of the 2021-2022 season and a little bricky. A little bricky. Let that guy go quick because it's really cold out here. Come on, bud. There he is. Let him go. Boom. Oh, don't do what I just did. Drop your reel right in the slush. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, guys, I think I'm just going to pop the shack up here, get out of the cold and snow. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to set up my automatic hook setter with a little piece of a little jig head, a little 16th ounce, and a chunk of cured shrimp. I'm going to drop that down. And this thing will set the hook on its own while I'm busy setting up the shack. So just go like this, hook it on the eyelet, keep your face clear, run the line over it like that, and you're good to go. Fish pulls down. It, this little metal bit pops out, and boom, you got a fish on. We got some fish coming out of the weeds here. I don't think you guys can see it on the sounder, but there's lots of motion down there below the weed line, so probably some little sunfish or perch, maybe some small bass coming up. Still haven't figured out the cadence they want. Oh no! Broke me off! That was a good one! <laughs> 